Didn't see that coming. You real name. He is my brother. His dragon name is Fenrir, Lord of Earth and Mountain. Fenrir. In Norse mythology, the wolf offspring of Loki, the god of mischief, and the female giant Angerboda. Hmm. So, you must have guessed what my name is, right? Jormungandr. Fenrir's sister. That's right. My name is Jormungandr. Jormungandr the Dragon Lord. In your name, I am the great serpent that encircles Midgard. And you should have another sister, Hela. Her name is Hela. Hela is not yet born, but she will be soon. Today will be her birthday, and her birthplace is right here. No way. <laughs> Don't worry, my brother. There will not be a third Dragon Lord tonight. And your deduction is correct. There is a pair of twins on the throne of the four overlords. Hela, the goddess of death, is the mixed lineage of my brothers and my bloodline. Tonight, she will come to live right here. You want to devour him? Yes, but I never thought the humans could reveal this secret just from pieces of fragmented history. Our strength comes from our lineage. But us purebloods are not like you lowly hybrids. While you are trying to improve the purity of your blood, we have already reached the peak. Our method to strengthen the talent is to blend in the blood of other pureblood kings. When I devour him, our blood will be blended. And Heila will be born. Hela is neither Jormungandr or Fenrir. She is the sum of us two, and is stronger than both of us combined. What? You've evolved into gods? Well said. As the goddess of death, the queen of the Nibelungen, she will open all the doors to the realm of the dead. That will raise the curtain of the return of the Age of Myth. How magnificent it is. Such a shame that you can live to see that moment. You told me about your brother. That he trusted you. And thought the world of you. He could have fought back. But he was confused when you impeded him. Could have devoured him a long time ago. Why wait till today? After all that trouble. <laughs> because I love him. But you'll still devour him, right? Why? Why would you talk such nonsense with a human like me? You are a dragon. Even if there are only two of your kind left, mm -hmm. you'll still do anything and sacrifice your only hope for companionship to obtain power. Yours is a race where only the strongest survive. That's why you are stronger than us humans. Only the strong can survive till the end. The weak ones are just food for them. You've already succeeded. You have no need for a weakling's tears. <laughs> yes, you are right. You are so strange. Are you truly a human? The way you think about things. Aren't you one of us? I'm just trying to figure you guys out from a theoretical standpoint. I pretty decent grades in my theory class. But he isn't food. He's my brother. 
You aren't nearly as powerful as your brother. Why? Is it your curiosity as an academic? <laughs> yes, your guess is right. It doesn't hurt if I tell you the truth. The twins on the throne are not identical. Actually, to be quite honest, we complement each other perfectly. Between me and Fenrir, Fenrir has an innate advantage in his lineage. His extra skill is far better than mine. But his intelligence is limited to a very low level. You're his brain. All he needs to do is trust you. Yes. He always listens to me. All this was planned by your father, the Dark King, yes? Those who are truly powerful also have great weaknesses. And they are, in fact, your food reserves. When all else fails, you can always eat them. Yes. They are born to be food.